Hey, what's going on? Travis Patel here. Thank you for joining me in another video of the Like a Boss Facebook training here on Kingpinning. Now, in this one, we're going to be talking about custom conversions. Now, the Facebook Pixel today, the way they've transitioned from the old Pixel to the new Pixel, is that ideally they really want your system set up so that you have one ad account per business and one Pixel per business so that Facebook and all that data, all those custom audiences, all those events being tracked, all that stuff going on can really be optimized ideally to that one group of people that you are supposed to be marketing to. Now, this kind of throws a wrench in the system for those that do a lot of internet marketing and work off of bouncing around from niches and system to system because you don't have one type of business that you're advertising out time. You might have two or three. And in our case, we have multiple e-commerce stores. And I also have the consulting side and the kingpinning. And then when we're jumping into Travis Patel brand and all those things we're doing there, those all have separate ad accounts in our business manager because they need that pixel optimization. Now, in the old pixel, you're able to create separate or separate pixels for each conversion so that you could optimize for every single product, you could optimize for every single niche that you have on a general store, for example. But now how Facebook wants it set up is that the pixel, the one master pixel, is optimizing towards that ideal buyer of your store, no matter what it is. It, you know, if you have a niche-specific store that only sells the horse owners, then it's going to optimize to horse owners. Now, if you have a general t-shirt store that sells across a hundred to a thousand niches or whatnot, the master pixel is going to is going to optimize towards t-shirt buyers. So think of it on that way. And then if you even think of it one step further, if you have a general store that sells assorted products, everything across the board, across every niche, just all it is is a bunch of products out there, then the Facebook pixel is optimizing towards online buyers. So that's really your niche instead of thinking about it on a single level niche as far as horses versus pigs. Then instead we're thinking, you know, niche specific the passion, the niche, the, the focus, then you have product specific, and then you have buyer specific. Those are the types of optimizations that are happening. Now, the custom conversion, these are offered by Facebook to allow us to kind of single that out, dial that into even further optimization. So if I have, for my example, my farm store, we are selling to a wide range of angled, angles of the farmer niche where we're hitting those that are actual farmers, the, the men and the women that plow the fields and they're out there with the animals and they're waking up at 4 a.m. and 3.30 to get things started and be a farmer. That's one angle of it. So we'll dial that in with the custom conversion. But then also on the other side, we have those that are just fans of cows or they're fans of pigs. They're, they deal with farm animals and have farm animals as pets. That's another angle that we sell products to on the store, especially in the apparel side of the farmer. So that's another angle that we're going to create a custom conversion to dial it in. Now, there's a lot of limitations right now with Facebook custom conversions, and they'll probably update this over time here. Um, right now, you can only create 20 custom conversions, and you can't delete or really edit them in any way. So a lot of ours that we've created are just wasted. Um, we set them up wrong, didn't know because we were just playing around, and then now we can't delete or edit them in any way other than changing the name. So... Custom conversions are very limited right now, but they are ways to dial in where, um, like I said, you can dial in on those specific angles of your niche, or you can hit the product types if you want to do everyone that's bought t-shirts or everyone that's bought purses or everyone that's bought hats, whatnot, that can kind of give you another optimization you can use in your in your website conversion ads and all that good stuff later on. So this is custom conversions, very simple to create. We're going to create a custom conversion. Um, this is an ad dashboard under the tools. You'll see custom conversions. And this is just much like the custom audiences we create for retargeting. We can go down by event, purchase, buy it now, page view, view content, add to cart, you know, we're going to optimize towards, let's just say, content IDs. Uh, if we want to do one product, we would let's grab a product. Here's our content IDs. <clears throat> now, you can go by the URL as well. 
the content IDs and all this information comes from installing the pixel correctly. We're using Shopify here, so it's an easy one type of step install. You can see in another video of the Like a Boss training here. So we're going to add that. Ooh. There we go. Now, category, we're going to go with purchase. And then next, it would create it and you'd name it. I believe we can go name. Okay, yeah, name right here. Um, Pig Whisper Buyers. And then we can set a default value. So we make about, you know, I think it's, we'll say like $16 per sale of a shirt. Um, so when that's created, every time that pixel fires in the purchase level, it'll be a $16 value. Now, I'm not going to create this because, like I said, we can't delete or edit them later, and I don't want to waste a customer version on that single product. I would create things like here we have the turtle one um, for our turtle niche products, and then we wasted the first one here because we accidentally created two. Uh, so we're dialing in niches on the 19th store because it's a general T-shirt store. But like I said, that master pixel... When we're optimizing toward that, it's really optimizing towards those who are buying T-shirts. So this is these custom conversions can be used to dial in what the overall master pixel optimizes towards. It's a way to branch out and look at different angles and, and things like that. So always try and plan your niche. Look at it as a whole. You have your master pixel. Think about the real buyers you're selling to. Who is that master pixel promoting who's it pushing on the 19th store it's t-shirt buyers that's what we're selling to it's not selling to farm animal uh, owners just because the best selling products are farm animal shirts it's selling to t-shirt buyers so these customer versions are a good way to just kind of like i said dial it in and play around different angles of your niche let it allow you to optimize on different angles for just maybe some better conversions and more help from Facebook. So guys, hope you got a lot from this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to hit me up. My name is Travis Patel. Have a good one.